from North Karnataka, a land older than the Himalayas, come fascinating stories of our diverse wilderness and wildlife. Unique and amazing endemic species, some found nowhere else on the planet. A visually stunning and eye-opening series on the oldest geological formation of the Indian subcontinent. And the hidden, mysterious, wild wonders of the Deccan's natural world. This is Kopal. This is our wildlife. This is the Deccan. It was magical, truly magical. Around four years ago, stumbled upon by sheer accident, we at DCF discovered this amazing jewel, Magic Rock. It was one summer at 6.50 p.m. before dusk on 6 June 2016 to be exact, that my trusted childhood companion Durgya, with Rama or Wolfman as we call him, looking for the elusive striped hyena, came face to face with a large adult male jungle cat, sitting just meters away on a rock. He was old and had one injured or infected eye. Called Devarakallu, rock of the gods or holy rock, we sighted many other species of wildlife here the Indian fox found shelter and so did a pair of jackals using dens to rest and breed in a relative undisturbed space along with many other species of wildlife finding refuge here. Magic Rock was a name given by a wildlife filmmaker who so inspired in and in awe of this remarkable microhabitat looked at me this is truly magical, he whispered, and so stuck this name, Magic Rock. Over the next year, we documented dozens of individuals and many generations of young, born, raised, protected and breeding here. Generations of jungle cats, fox, jackals and other wildlife who made Magic Rock home, coexisting with each other, living in the middle of nowhere, and with DCF protecting them. Young males fighting for territory, and young mothers suckling their kitten to adulthood. We hope that others would help us to preserve and protect this microhabitat that was rare, unique, blessed and hidden and these last few remaining refuges of human-dominated, isolated pockets that are contested spaces. And to revive degraded habitats, curb poaching and the populations of diminishing wildlife. Unfortunately, unethical, unregulated, aggressive photographers whom I call TikTok or so-called wildlife photographers, looking only for selfish social media likes disturbed and exposed these animals to the mercy of rampant illegal wildlife trade, poachers and ritual hunters. Responsible conservation-based photography must be self-regulated and is a responsibility that we must all share. 
as there can be no wildlife photography without wildlife most of them became victims of hunting and were killed causing irreparable damage and loss last year we saw a new young male take over this territory from the old battle scarred alpha who was way past his prime and weak his time had come but he had had a long reign as top cat ruling over magic rock this new bold and strong male coated and now had this female all to himself trying to breed mating successfully kitten were born to her and she now had to raise this new generation and feed them this is magic rock this is our wildlife this is the deccan all was looking good for this new family till the pandemic hit us in february blocking us out and unable to visit these protected patches we could not monitor their well-being alarming reports of hunting and poaching were reported and we were helpless unable to do anything It was now June and the monsoons had arrived bringing light showers and rain seasons changed and the land turned green and lush and most wildlife were breeding peacocks danced and flaunted their tail feathers attracting females to mate and breed and in late June finally we were able to visit and we rushed to our project areas and magic rock Driving anxiously we saw the male sitting alone high on the rocks above but he looked sad and in grief and kept looking down at the rocks below yawning and persistent he would not stop looking down then we noticed her the female curled up under a rock as it had started to drizzle and a light cool breeze blew across magic rock in spite of getting wet he still sat there but there was no sign of the kittens we returned the next day and he was still sitting on the high rocks looking down and she was still alone and detached from him and looked mentally stressed still no kitten till a shepherd came running towards me to tell me that last week a few poachers had snared the kitten in a trap laid using motorcycle cables the kitten had been strangulated by the tightening noose around their necks lost before their prime and taken away from their parents innocence claiming their lives the mother kept her distance while all the while her mate wanted to reunite He was getting impatient wanting to go to her to try and breed again. Procreation is the primary function of all wildlife. But she would not respond and was aloof, disinterested, sad, grieving and moved away even further. He followed her looking to get her attention and to coax her. He tried again hoping this time to overpower her and subdue her as he was fully grown strong and powerful she may be smaller but her attitude was not she fought back and repelled his advances scratching and clawing him as she snarled and hissed at him it was getting dark now but she could still pick up his scent nearby and was alert and cautious she knows he is not far away He is seen climbing down from behind a rock and persists in his efforts to win her over and to try and mate tonight. Wagging his tail, he tries to send a message that they must breed and procreate. The survival of this species will depend on them having young, raising them so that they in turn can do the same and have young of their own when they are mature. She is still short-tempered and warns him to stay away. hissing and purring aggressively 
he finally backs off and slips away into the darkness leaving her to grieve some more the very survival of these jungle cats and other wildlife depend on these last few species of habitats and denning areas community centric conservation with locals as stakeholders and strategic partners is the key to save these species and revive their habitats the survival of all rare endangered and threatened species lies in balance like this rock precariously tilting in one direction we must put aside our petty differences resolve issues and address concerns that could be the difference between extinction and the survival of so many species living on the brink self interest and egos must be put aside for effective conservation programs and projects at grassroots levels to preserve protect and conserve the last remaining habitats and wildlife living in non protected human dominated fragmented isolated pockets of the decade at dcf we may have lost many battles but as one dedicated researcher assured me we will definitely win the war if we all unite and fight as one strong cohesive group or like my good friend and internationally acclaimed nature photographer dithiman mukherji who visited us and stayed in our field station said in a recent interview on ethical photography three qualities make a good photographer he says knowledge of nature and the subject experience and common sense and ethics and self regulation above all there is a human quality a sense of ownership a nature photographer must feel that this biodiversity is his this wildlife is for him to protect and preserve and that he has to care for them that feeling and commitment is more important than any momentary impulse to get images without conservation as the focus dritiman has shot in over 40 countries and in all states in india he was so impressed with our terrain which he called an unprotected paradise after sighting and photographing so many endangered species our unique landscape and our commitment and work in conservation i am truly privileged to have befriended him and he is a role model that we must follow so one day hopefully real soon we will once again witness encouraging sights like these with mothers suckling their young kitten in the safety and protection of magic rock and other hidden jewels of the deccan landscape flourishing wildlife and the revival of microhabitats with new generations thriving and coexisting with us humans a tribute to the warrior that was the old alpha male who started this legacy at magic rock a true testimony to this courageous survivor who against all odds raised so many generations of jungle cats in magic rock so his life will not be in vain this is our wildlife this is our mission this is the deck